I got a fish. I got a fish. <gasps> Did you see it jump? What is up everybody? Everyday Angler here. This is my beach fishing video. I was at Panama City Beach, Florida, and I was just fishing the surf the whole time. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of narrating this video because my GoPro was constantly getting wet and the audio just really sucked on it. So to give you guys a little breakdown of what I'm doing is, this was a family trip that I took with my in-laws. It wasn't like a fishing specific trip, right? So every day I would just go out on the beach and see what I could catch. And I've just gathered a little bit of clips for y'all. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep it like a little storyline, but if it seems like it's jumping around from day to day, uh, that is why, because I would literally just go out to the beach in front of the resort we were staying at and fly fish it for a couple hours a day. But I did catch some pretty nice fish. I only caught one species of fish. Anyways, let's get this video rolling. I got one, I got one. Babe, babe, babe. <sighs> oh, it's a little one. Still the first fish at the beach. I have no idea what it is. Oh, he pinned me good. Oh, he's pretty. I don't know what species, new species for me. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, put the camera in the water. Let's do an underwater release. Just the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. And that little closet that you just saw me take off my rod, uh, I didn't tie it myself. It's like a, it was a chartreuse and flash closure but it was only tied on the top half of the clouser, so there wasn't any bucktail or anything tied around the shank like you would on a regular clouser. Uh, if you guys know what a clouser is, then that makes sense to you. But, and that's really like the only fly that worked for me this whole trip. So here, uh, it's later in the day and I was kind of tired and I actually tried out one of these fancy retrieves that I saw on YouTube and ended up snagging another little pinfish. What's up? Yes, I got one. A little fish. I think I snagged them. This is the same species I caught earlier today. Omega's not here right now to uh, help me out with this release, but it's like a little grunt or something. Awesome. Fish on. Uh. It's the same little tiny guy. I don't know what type of species fish this is. Day number two. 
we had a storm roll through so i don't know how this is going to change the water but we'll see and i'm guessing this water is very cold yes it is No, they're chasing it, but... Got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's another little one. Is that the same kind you yeah. got yesterday? Oh, big wave. That's smacky. Be careful. This is like all I've caught. This is not what I lost before, though. I think they're sand perch. All right, Omega has brought me my, my uh, fly supply. So I was throwing something bigger just to try to see if I couldn't get something bigger. I saw a few fish like before the storm came or right before it came. Anyways, I'm back to this little baby clouser because I'd rather just catch small stuff than just cast around and do nothing. Anyways. Oh yeah, very small. <laughs> Everyday angler. Everyday. Your oh, you're there. Whoa. Yeah. I didn't bring anything. I would have gave you guys stickers and stuff. Wait. I'm on vacation, you know. Yeah. Trying to get a small video at least. What are you fishing for? Anything. Anything. Yeah. I've never seen someone fly fish. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get. More kids and stuff into fly fishing. Who do you guys watch? I watch I like John B. Yeah. I bass. Bass TV. Kicking their bass. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Uh, New Orleans. Yeah, kicking their bass is in Atlanta. Yeah, that's But Alan big. Th and all them. Yeah, like I you guys watch. Video? No, dude, no. I have like 200 something subscribers. Nice. That's better than him. Are you doing fishing? Well, you know, like, really they're all bass fishermen. Yeah. So you gotta, I'm trying to get, like, fly fishing more popular, you know? My friend, my, like, I think my best friend, he's a little brother, he flies. Yeah. I think it's I cool. See, we go fly fish, he goes, we go bass fishing, and I use a bait catch and he uses a fly rod. Yeah. Do you like fly fishing? Who, me? Oh, I really just got into it, but I've enjoyed it, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. He's a guide? Yeah, he's a guide. Yeah, so, I don't know, I just enjoy it a lot more than regular fishing. I was conventional fishing for a long time before I started fly fishing. I'm just trying it out. No. It was nice talking to you. Got one. This is the same species I've been catching out here. I don't know what 
what this is. Anyways. All right, everybody, the clip you're about to watch is kind of uh, the importance of not getting caught up in the fight of the fish. This is probably the only decent fish I hooked up with the whole time at the beach. And I kind of got like, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was trying to get him on the reel. It was not like a big fish. I could have just pulled him in. And uh, it was a bad mistake I made just trying to get that fish on the reel. Anyways, let's roll the clip. You'll get to see him jump a couple times. I have no idea what species it was. I just knew it wasn't a pinfish. This is a new species. <laughs> He's fighting good. Oh, this is a good fight. I lost him. Okay, so this is the last clip I'm going to show everybody. This was the last day we were there, and Main Omega decided to walk down the beach. It was a pretty good ways away, but to this pier, because I thought, you know, maybe this pier would be holding bigger fish. So I had been casting out there for like maybe an hour, two hours, and I kind of froze up. You guys are going to watch this big shadow come from the right side of the screen and just kind of slowly swim to the left side of the screen and I had no idea what it was I don't think it was a shark because you know you get that menacing side fin kind of like walking on the water this thing it had like a long snout but it wasn't like a hound fish I don't know what it was I'm gonna play it in slow motion here in a little bit and yeah you guys see me like immediately start casting at it if you look it's hard to tell but if you look the fish actually turns around looks at my fly and keeps going and I like start chasing after him anyways here it is in like really slow motion guys comment below what you think this fish is because that was just pretty crazy I wish I would have got it hooked up but I didn't and uh, yeah I'm gonna try to freeze frame it and play it in slow motion for you guys so you guys can really get a good look at this fish Anyways, everybody, that's all I have to show from my beach fishing video. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I couldn't get a proper intro and outro ready for everybody. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for next week's episode of The Everyday Angler.